Hey guys, today we got a really cool slingshot here. This is called the Ares uh, HD series. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy a couple of times up to 40 there, and then we'll get into the details of what this thing is made of and all the specs. Definitely shoots like a dream. Let's step on in the garage where we can get out of this heat and get away from these crazy locusts and go over some of the details. It's not gonna get hurt by much of anything. I don't know if I'd hammer on it or not, but uh, hey, you could if you wanted to. This thing uh, is definitely built heavy duty, I'll tell you what. So the design is from uh, Chuck and Steel. Uh, he called it the Ares, the God of War, or something along those lines. You'll have to brush up on your Greek, Greek, your Greek mythology uh, in order to figure that one out. But you'll see a lot of the stuff that he designs uh, is along, along the same lines, uh, mythology sort of stuff. So the name is the Ares. Uh, it definitely comes in different styles, okay? You can get HTPE, you can get the aluminum. Um, there's probably going to be like a pro version eventually, I would assume, which is going to be the high polish, shiny, super cool, extra glistening sort of stuff. But right now you can get HTPE, um, you can get clipped. Uh, this is the HD version. You can get this one clipped or wrap and tuck. Uh, I'm not sure on the inventory that they have currently. I know they sell fast because everybody loves this design. Uh, it's been out for a little while. Uh, it's definitely proven to be good. A lot of top shooters and uh, beginner shooters are liking it so far. I finally had a chance to pick one up um, and I'm liking it. I'm definitely liking it a lot. Let's go over some of the specs real quick just so you know what you're getting uh, before you actually make a purchase. Yes, you can read them on the website too, which is omegaslingsusa.com, which I will put right around. Hold on, hold on, hold on, look at that, look at that. Go there, check them out uh, because they have all sorts of stuff. Um, even if they don't have one of these, beware you will probably buy something else because they have all sorts of cool stuff so let's give a quick rundown on the specs this is what she looks like here and the way it works is 90 millimeter width so 90 millimeters from side to side from the outer edge to the outer edge the fork tips are on there right here to here are going to be 25 millimeters the overall length is 125 millimeters so from the top here to the bottom here that's going to be 125 millimeters and then the thickness is going to be uh, 10 millimeters. So that's all your specs, millimeters. Now, if you read the description, it's labeled as uh, uh, not an overly heavy, but, you know, a weighted frame uh, with enough weight to feel good, enough heft um, to, you know, prevent a little bit of uh, so-called, you know, recoil, I guess. For me, I like metal frames. I always have. I have a bunch of them. Uh, I like light frames too, you know, I, I, I kind of go all over the place, but uh, my true love is going to be like metal frames. So a lot of the ones, uh, my daily shooter that I shoot is metal. It's lighter than this for sure. This guy's, this guy's got a little bit of weight, but it's not crazy. Um, definitely a good shooter. It's a center, center uh, handle here, so you got no offsets at all. The cool part about this one that I thought, first, first of all, you gotta remember Chuck and Steel uh, has quite a few designs out already. He's not new to the game. He's been shooting a long time and designing stuff for quite some time. I have a couple of his already um, and I wanted to get another one, you know, just out of support for one because he's a really good dude, uh, one of my good friends. And also um, he makes great designs. But I am pretty much a pinch grip shooter. This particular one is what looks to be more of like a brace grip kind of shooter. So for me, it hit the mark as 90, 90 millimeter width. That's what I shoot. 25 millimeter um, tips, that's what I shoot also. Uh, so I like all that there. The thing that I am not a huge fan on is brace grip. I just don't shoot it, I shoot pinch. So I kind of was on the fence a little bit, knowing that I could still shoot it, I'm sure, but the, I think it's just more brace, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Long, long ways, long ways around the long, long story to get to a short point. I don't know, whatever. So when I grabbed this guy and I got it and pulled it out of the box, for one, I instantly noticed that the pinch ability of it is very good. So if you are on the fence about this because you're you like dedicated pinch grips, don't feel bad about getting this one because it's very pinch friendly. 
those two shots that I took earlier in this video were not my first shots. When I opened it up last night, I instantly banded it up and I took some shots out in the backyard with it. So those are my first shots last night. What I can tell you is now that I've had it a little bit, the way I shoot it and the way I shoot it better is I go all the way up to the top. So I grab it, um, I choke all the way up to the top there. That's just how I like it. So I bypass this whole section here and I go all the way to the top and that's how I shoot. I like to have my reference point just barely off my finger here. And yes, you can see I have the, the cup is kind of exposing my uh, the web of my hand, but that's fine. The way I have mine dialed in, I don't get um, any crazy slap back or anything. So what I'm telling you is brace grip, yes. Pinch grip, yes. Choked up grip, <laughs> yes. Everything just locks in. Your fingers go right up. They just shove right in there. This prevents them from slipping off. Thickness is fine. Everything about this thing is good. So that's your specs. That's your rundown. That's what it looks like. Let's get back out there and shoot a little bit. All right, guys, we're out a little bit further out. We're at like 15 meters here. I uh, don't know if I'm going to be able to hit that thing from here, but we're going to give it a go. It's still the same 40, by the way. What the hell? Why does that happen? Now, next shot's going to be a miss. Two in a row. Holy freaking. I mean, I'm happy about that, but people think that I that I fake it or something. But that wasn't. Those were real shots. Let's move out somewhere else and see what happens. All right, dude. So we are like 20 meters, we'll say, out here now. And we got, whoa, right in that tree area. I have a little tiny old catch box that's all beat up, um, but it still is able to hold a target. So I have a metal target in there. Let's take about five shots at it and see if we can hit it. They're close. I'm on either side. Hopefully I'm not blocking it. There you go. We got one. All right, my luck has run out. Oh, no. This slingshot is fabulous. We're going to go move around one more spot, take a couple more shots, and then we'll give you some final thoughts here. Thanks for hanging on so far. Hey guys, before we get out there and shoot a little bit more, can you take a second to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and maybe even like this video? It would help the channel, help my channel grow, but it also will help the community grow. So if you like any of this content, please just take a second to hit that subscribe, notification, and like. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I'm gonna throw this can up down there in the catch box. Have you ever tried Celsius? It's so delicious. Boy, I wish they would send me some free ones. No, this is not a paid advertisement. I bought this, you sons of... Anyway, let's get the can down there. All right, guys, we're 30 meters out. Let's see if we can hit that can. I hit the clip right next to it. That's one. Let's see if we can get one more. We got two. <laughs> Two's good. <laughs> I'm stopping right there. Let's get back in the garage and give some final thoughts on this here bad boy. Final thoughts. I definitely recommend this one. This one is a keeper. I'm not getting rid of this guy. Um, he will be in the forever bin. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, it's definitely a shooter. It's definitely rugged, which is what I, I really like about it. I feel like this thing uh, is just, I don't know, it's just, it's like industrial or something, you know? It looks like it could lock into a, a piece of equipment or something, or like maybe use it for a wrench. I don't know. It's very industrial, very rugged, very, um, but very shootable, very sleek, um, and a great slingshot. Clips function perfectly. Uh, there's no rug, um, no sharp edges anywhere to catch anything but they're really easy to use. You unscrew them, you got a nice big um, gap in there to, to get the band in there so you don't gotta fidget with anything. Uh, definitely a great slingshot. Appreciate you all checking out my videos as usual. 
uh, stick around because I'm going to have more coming up after the tournament. I may not post anything before, but we're all getting kind of pumped up and ready to go shoot some slings together. Uh, so after the video, after the tournament, I will definitely have, um, I have ideas. So there's going to be some cool stuff happening. Uh, I have some interesting uh, things that just need to get out of my head and go on to the video. So stay tuned, come back for more, uh, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you.